Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and there is something happening tomorrow that I'm very, very excited and nervous about, but mostly excited about. It's something that I've been very self-conscious about for a very long time and it's good that I'm finally getting it done. So the thing that's happening tomorrow is an FUE hair transplant procedure and I'm very excited about it. This is something I have been conscious about since as long as I can remember. I don't know, this is a good 16, 17, 20 years ago because my hairline goes really high up. I've got a really big forehead as it is anyway. I would always get these parts of my hair kept longer than the rest of it, but my hairline has always been this quite a deep M shape. But since I was like really young, so this will be the starting point. So. I know some people will be like, it's not even that bad, but for me, it just, it goes up too high, but it has always, always, for as long as I can remember, been this shape, so I'm just getting it, like, straightened out, not even, like, brought it down very far, just straightening out this so that I can style my hair how I want to style my hair. I don't have to have it down on my face all the time. I put, like, a, a post out on Instagram saying, uh, what do you guys think of cosmetic surgery? And obviously there's a lot of like, obviously you have to do it for yourself. You don't do it for anyone else. If people are like bullying you for, for something about yourself, obviously don't do it for them. Don't do it because you're being bullied to believe something is wrong with you when there's nothing wrong with you. If there's something that will make you feel better about yourself, isn't hurting anyone, that's the main thing. So that is what I'm doing. I'm excited to share this journey with you guys. There's two main types. So there's one, where what they do is they like take a strip of your hair from the back, including your skin and stuff, and then they take all of the all of the hair out of that and then they implant that in the front. Or the FUE one, which is the one that I'm getting, is they don't take a strip out, they shave it, and then they take out bits of it, like random bits, so it's not like really bad. And then the, they just implant them into the front. So yeah, I I've been rambling, so I'm gonna stop. If you are enjoying this video, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. Hopefully this goes well. Wish me luck on this journey and I will see you later. I am up bright and early at 7 a.m. and I'm off. I will see you guys when I get there. Yeah, I've made it to Harley Street and I'm going in. So I've had all the anesthetic. My head is numb. And now I'm gonna have all of the grass taken out. I'm gonna go to sleep. This is definitely not my best look at all. This is the most unflattering gown ever. But first stage is done. So like the, I don't know how to show you this. That's the back right now. So all of the side here, here, all the way around the back and the other side. <laughs> Sorry if you don't like blood, there is blood in there. That's all been done and sorted and stuff. And they've taken out all the grafts and everything. Gonna have lunch now and then the next stage is uh, I'm gonna go in with a surgeon who's gonna discuss like how I want my hairline to appear. So, bring it down. <laughs> Currently covered in like tape and everything and I've spent the whole morning with my face in one of those massage. What you'd imagine a massage thing to be? Yeah. Okie dokie, so we're in like the implantation bit of the surgery and it's been anaesthetized and I started getting the, the little jabs to say to like put the holes in, put the hair into and yeah, it's going good. Can't feel a thing. Okay, so there is blood coming. The screamish look away. There you go. That is all done. <laughs> Thank you. And now all the hair is gonna go back into my head. I'm excited. It's all done. It's just getting rebounded now. Okie dokie, so we're all done and it's it looks good. It'll obviously look a lot better when it's, when it's healed. I can't wait. Okay, first night of sleeping was very difficult. It was trying to sleep upright the entire night. Not upright, but like on my back without rolling over. Very difficult. I kept waking up and I kept feeling like I was touching it. 
that's what it looks like right now. It is quite swollen at the top of my head. The swelling will eventually go down. But yeah, it's it's pretty gross. Used a um like a one of these things. So there's some like blood on it from last night where I had it over the pillow to keep the pillow clean. And I'll be using a fresh one of these tonight and hopefully that will stop any blood from going on the pillow. Again, I'll show you the back of my head as well. So the back of my head, I like that. But it doesn't actually, the back of my head doesn't hurt. A little bit of blood down there at the bottom. Yeah, it's the front of my head where it feels, it, it feels like I've had Botox because I can't really like move my eyebrows very much. But you can see it's it is swollen there at the top a little bit it's very tight uncomfortable but it's not like it's not like in pain or anything so it's going all right so i've just taken off the bandage at the back the bandage itself looks disgusting if you if you i mean if you're squirmish you squeamish. will have what squeamish. 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 you can say squirmish squeamish squirmish um so this is what the thing looks like from the back of my head this is gross. This is just oh. disgusting. Craig is here, so he's gonna help me clean up the back of my head, but first, yeah, show, show the back of my head. So I wanna see what it looks like as well. It's all, I don't know if that's pus or if it's just like she said. Well, she said they, they had ingested loads of like, was it like, it must have been like saline or something. It's, it's yeah, it's probably just that coming out because it doesn't look infected. So, Good. <laughs> so yeah. Nice. Cool. The back has all been cleaned. Craig has cleaned it all nicely, and this is what it looks like. There we go. A lot different. Fresh. Nice and No gunky. It's good because when I get my hair like cut, and it will be like faded up. Mm -hmm. So any sort of scars. Hopefully it doesn't scar very much. But you never know. Even if it does scar, then it will be covered up by my hair, so it doesn't really, really matter. So last night was probably the worst night's sleep I've had so far. And my head, as you can see, is pretty swollen all the way from, from about here. It immediately goes like outwards. There you can see how, how swollen that is. And it's the same on that side. It's, it's definitely, definitely swollen. Hopefully this goes down tomorrow. It should start going down tomorrow, the swelling. I have to keep spraying it with this stuff, the top bit, just giving it a spritz every hour on the hour. I'm very tired. I can't remember if I've said actually as well about the procedure itself. So I thought I would tell you guys. I was obviously lying down on that thing and then they, they did the, like a, it's kind of like a massage bed. So you've got like your head through the, through the thing you saw earlier on. And the only bit that was actually painful was the first, lot of injections which was just the anesthetic so it goes straight in the back in the middle and then it went like along in a line and then all the way along the back and then another line of of anesthetic injection just like in lines across the back of my head the first line was really painful but then after that it was kind of okay and then didn't really feel anything you could like sense that people were like touching the back of your head and doing stuff in the back of your head but you couldn't feel any pain so that was good and yeah it was a bit weird when when he was like making the incisions for where all the hairs were gonna individually go that was really like a strange sensation you could like hear like a kind of like popping sound kind of sounded like it was like tapping on my skull i don't know if that's actually what it was or if it was just like breaking through the skin that was making the sound i'm not sure but that was just a strange sensation so last night was terrible i had like four hours sleep maximum sleeping on my back is just not normal for me i'm normally like a side sleeper so it's kind of difficult fingers crossed i can get through this luckily i'm working from home so i don't have to leave the house looking like this i will catch you guys later the swelling has gone further down my face now it goes to about there on this side and it's really coming in around my my eyes and it's a little bit here as well i can't wait for this to go down but yeah it is to be expected it's completely normal and day two are we in day two day two day three tomorrow is probably going to be either the worst or it's going to start to to go away it's now day three the swelling is still pretty big 
as you can see. But today I can wash my hair, so I've had a shower. You've got to be really careful with how you how you wash the hair. You can't have like direct shower pressure on it, so you have to mix the shampoo into a like a cup and you pour that on and let that soak, and then you just rinse it off really carefully with um with, again with the cup, so there's no like shower pressure on it. So very 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 careful and gentle but it also said in the instructions that some of like the the hair from the grafts may come out but that's just the shaft the hair shaft it's not the actual follicle so that's completely normal and last night was very itchy the back of my head was very itchy so i guess that's because the the scabs are like forming properly but yeah so i'm gonna wash my hair now and i will see you guys in a sec this is pretty much what i'm using right now this is just a measuring jug with water and shampoo is mixed in there slowly pour that onto my head it's all washed there were tiny 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 little bits let me show you teeny little bits of hair there that's pretty much all that's, that's come out all healing going good craig show me do the back of my head it looks nice and washed yeah nice yeah and clean wait it's not focusing there you go so it's healing nice yep it look it doesn't look infected or anything yeah I mean, it looks like scabby and plasmary but like it just like it did yesterday but it doesn't look raw or is like it is it painful no it's not red at all hey everyone so we are now on friday so four days I had it done on Monday, this is now Friday. The swelling on my face has gone down a lot since yesterday, so it's not quite as, as like prominent on the sides as it was yesterday. But it has like come to my come to my nose and just under my eyes a little bit. So I'm quite puffy. Looks a little bit like like I've had like a nose job or fillers or something, I don't know. Healing nicely. I've got it tied up in the smallest little top knot ever, but it is healing really well. I slept quite good last night. It wasn't so itchy, it was, it was fine. The back is healing up really, really well. Like, really well. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, scarring is gonna be like seriously minimal because there's the, the redness has gone down. The, the little scabs, they're tiny, tiny, tiny little scabs. Yeah, once that's healed, because of the way they've done it as well, it's, it's literally just in like the, the top part of the back, just the top part of the back of my head, which is where when I have like a like a short back and sides haircut it won't and fade it up, that would be completely covered anyway. So even if it is visible scarring underneath the hair, you're not gonna see it when I have a normal haircut. So it's it's good. It's good. I cannot wait. I'm I'm feeling good about this. You can see how how I'm still quite puffy in my face. Like my cheeks are, are very full. It's going good, it is going good. Mm. Okay, we've made it to the end of Friday. My swelling on my face has gone down even more, which is great. Slowly getting back to normal. I've got my hair tied up in two little buns up there because I want to keep it off the back of my head. Like it tickles the back of my head and then it gets itchy. So having it up like this means I can have it all up. I can't, if it's all in one bun, then it doesn't stay up. But it's healing good, which is good. And I keep spraying it, so. If I want to moisten my hair, keep it moist. It's nice. It's like it's cooling and then it limits the itching. That's the end of Friday. Hello, people. It's now Saturday, so this is day five, six. Because I had it on Monday. At the end of Monday. Swelling has mostly completely gone in my face, still a little bit around my eyes and it's it bruised a little bit, very, very slightly, just around my eyes. We've just washed my hair again with the, the like, pouring it on technique rather than the shower head technique and now that the swelling's gone down and I can wear my hair down in front of my face like I normally do you wouldn't really tell but the front of it has gone quite like dry scabby I don't know if I'm pointing this at the am I pointing it at my hair yes. right okay <laughs> quite dry scabby and the back of it is Craig is telling me it's, it looks good, like the scabs are mostly all gone from like the bottom bit and then there's some still like around the top and the sides but this whole Peaky Blinders haircut is kind of cool. I'm kind of lagging it. Mm. Right, Craig, show us the back. See like how, so here is mainly gone there. All the scabs there have gone. There's still some scabbing up here but it's like, it's literally on its last legs. The skin is still pink, like your scalp, mm -hmm. but it's not 
red or inflamed or anything it just looks like fresh skin but it's definitely definitely healing and the hair is already growing exciting stuff so that's that's pretty much it for day i'm gonna say day six tomorrow will be day seven because that'll be a week yes day six that's it for day six Hello everybody! So, we are on day 7. Sunday today. As you can see, my face has completely slimmed back down to normal again. I've just washed my hair and I was really, really careful with the grafted area up here. And I was just very lightly massaging it in circles. Very, very lightly just to help like the... In the, in the thing it says crusts, but it's like scab to like come off. But they're still there. They'll be there for a few more days. But yeah going good. The back is healing really nicely. I will again get Craig to show you guys. So here there's still some scabbing but the rest of it's all gone. I mean it looks now just like actually dry skin. It just looks like it's white and flaky. Yeah. Yeah that side there pretty much all gone as well. Healing nicely. Mm. Oh, get a close up clear shot of, of the, the crusts on there. Gross. So we just want to pick them off. I know it's so tempting, but no, because I don't want to risk pulling out the pulling out the grafted hair. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for this week, and I will catch up with you guys next week for more updates on this hair growth situation. I don't think I've mentioned where I got it done. So I uh, a place called Vinci Hair Clinic on Harley Street. I had my consultation ages ago in um before the coronavirus thing came out they quoted me something and i was like oh yeah okay i could i could i could do that if i don't eat for the next i don't know how long but now like with coronavirus and stuff all these like private clinics that that do things like this cosmetic surgery stuff they they need to recoup their losses so there was a special deal for june so i got into contact and i was like yes hello me again i want it Vinci Hair Clinic, that's where I went. The the team were really, really nice. Yeah, it was quite cool. Mm-hmm. So you'll see if it I'll be like honest. If anything goes wrong, I will I will be very brutally honest with what goes wrong. But I don't think it is. Uh, I don't think so. I mean the majority of like the success of hair transplant procedures is how you deal with it yourself at the end, like how you recover. Like if you're not following the instructions properly, if you're not doing what they've told you to do, then it's it may not work and that's not their fault, it's your fault. <laughs> so I'm doing everything by the book, exactly as they've said to do it, just to make sure it works perfectly fine. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments down below and I will answer any questions you guys have. I know this is something a lot of guys consider doing, especially like my kind of age. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like 31 now, but it is something I've been thinking about doing for a very long time, just because I've hated my hairline since I was in secondary school, so long time like half more than half my life now i've hated my hairline if you're gonna do it do it but if you're gonna do it do it for you don't do it for anyone else yeah let me know your thoughts down below any questions let me know see you in my next video really really soon goodbye